Hello everyone, I'm Steve, a soldering engineer at Japan Unix. Today, this is a must watch for those considering automating their soldering process. I'll be talking about the methods used by soldering robots. Among automated soldering methods, the most popular are tip soldering and laser soldering. Let's start with the methods used by tip soldering robots. One commonly used method in tip soldering is point soldering. Think of it as the precise one at a time method. Each point can have its optimal condition set, so each soldering spot can be done carefully, like a skilled artisan would. Another frequently used method is drag soldering. Think of this as the one stroke, one row method. By dragging the iron tip at a consistent speed, you can quickly solder a row in one smooth motion. Now let's look at the methods used by laser soldering robots. Laser soldering robots are known for their stability and consistency. Think of this as the always consistent quality method. Since laser soldering is non-contact, it maintains the same quality from the first to the 10,000th application. Area laser soldering has recently gained attention. This is like the all at once method. By irradiating a wide area with the laser, you can solder multiple points simultaneously. Not only is it fast, but with precise temperature control and high powered lasers, it enables high quality soldering. In addition to surface mounted components, Area laser soldering can also handle through-hole components. The area laser method is especially suitable for high-density, compact modules, cables, and a wide range of other products. So, that was an introduction to the methods used by soldering robots. At Japan Unix, we test daily to find the best soldering methods to suit each customer's product needs. For those of you considering soldering automation, if you have questions or need advice, feel free to contact Japan Unix anytime. See you again soon.